Little Unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're on my channel, I'm Vanessa Samina and welcome to the fam. So guys, today's reading is all about whether he is into you. And I mean a truly into you, not just there when it suits him, not just there because it's convenient, actually into you. And before I get into the video, I would just like to point out that this video is all inclusive. This applies to whether she is into you, whether they are into you, because my channel does not discriminate. Everyone's invited to this party. And I would just like to make it very clear that I am an honest tarot reader. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you exactly what I receive within the individual readings. So if you're cool with that and you really want to figure out whether he is into you, then this is the right video for you. So regarding the five groups that you can choose from today, they are as follows. We have the Black Tourmaline, we have the Pyrite, we have the Amber, we have the Diopside as well as the Emerald. But as usual, you can find the time stamps to the five groups in the description box as well as pinned to the comment section. And if you're completely new to my channel and you enjoyed your reading, know that you are officially adopted. Just hit that subscribe button in order to become a part of the unicorn fam. I upload videos at least three to four times a week, if not more, so you can count on me to make sure that you stay up to date on everything that concerns your life, your well-being, as well as your love life. So as you guys know, I like to keep the intro rather short so I can spend more time within your individual readings in order to give you as much info as I possibly can. So I'm going to get into the readings with the first group which corresponds to the Black Tourmaline and to all of the other groups. I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So you chose the black tourmaline group number one, which is kind of a protective stone, which may be the reason why you felt drawn to it, but I wanna move straight into your reading so we can figure out whether he is into you. So we have the empress, we have the 10 of wands as well as the devil. So group number one, this is a really interesting combo. I want you to know first and foremost in the empress that he or she, they do find you attractive, okay? They find you to be somebody who is physically draws them in, okay? Makes them feel like, ooh, I wish I could be closer to her. I wish I could get a little more deets on him. So I want you to know that this person does feel drawn to you. This person also is a little bit worried, okay? That is one thing that I see in the devil. I see that you scare them a little, you intimidate a them a little bit, and they feel as though maybe, just maybe, they are not quite good enough for you. As I can see here in the Ten of Wands, that they feel that even in their best state, okay, even in their most attractive state, they feel a little bit subconscious. They feel a little bit like they are never good enough, like they will never be able to do good enough. And that is one thing that like psychologically is really haunting them and is really stressing them out. So you can say that he or she, that they are into you, you know, it is clear that they find you attractive, but I see that you also kind of stress them out. Getting onto your level or what feels to them like is such a different level than where they are at is something that scares them and they feel as though you might leave them for somebody better or like if they do get closer to you that you will see all of their flaws and you will just kind of poof the moose you will be gone if you know what i mean group number one then we have recovery as well as meditation brings answers so in regards to this person that we're speaking about one thing that i see here is that they're kind of trying to heal themselves from the past okay they have been hurt in the past they have been brought to a really low point where they felt like their self-esteem took a big hit and it's not just that they felt that way their self-esteem did take a really big hit and that is reflected in how they are behaving when it comes to you the fact that they are so worried about if they're good enough for you or if you will find them attractive enough or whether you will just leave them for somebody for somebody seemingly better that is one thing that i see within your reading group number one so yes you do intimidate them but at the same time there's nothing you can do group number one there's no point in you not being who you are or trying to lower your standards just to make them more comfortable that will do more harm than good so don't even think in that direction if that is something that you're maybe tempted to do because group number one you may be the kind of person that tries to make other people feel comfortable instead of making sure that you're staying put okay that you're staying this almost like mountain that has its values that has 
self-worth and is not going to compromise it. I want you to stay like that instead of trying to compromise yourself or your self-worth, your value, just to make somebody else more comfortable. That is not your problem, group number one. Keep that in mind. It's very important for you not to do that. As I can see here in the snake, that that will only lead to the creation of them. Oh, okay, we have cards that are talking, group number one. But I wanna first talk to you about these snakes. So as I said, keep your standards high. Don't change just because they're into you but find you a bit too intimidating, just because that will create an environment where they feel as though every time they're insecure, every time they have an issue with how successful or how attractive that you are, that you will dim your light to make them feel comfortable. And that is not the kind of, um, the kind of vibration that you want to start this connection off on because then you're constantly kind of masking their insecurities, you're making excuses for their insecurities and they're not actually overcoming them. They're just expecting you to dim yourself in order to make them feel more comfortable, which will end up in a toxic connection, if you know what I mean, group number one. Then we have the lioness as well as the sacred ibis. Ibis, ibis, I'm not sure what it's called in English. But you guys, in the lioness, one thing that I see here is the fact that they are into you, they feel very protective about you. So even though they're a little bit afraid to get too close to you, even though they're a little bit worried about what you will think about them, one thing that I see here is that they feel like, kind of like almost like this father figure, like this bigger brother figure, this older sister that wants to give you great advice and that wants to make sure that you stay protected. So they are very concerned for your health and your well-being. They wanna make sure that you're always in good spirits, that you're always in a good place and it would really hurt them to see you go down a dark path. In the snake in correlation to the sacred ibis, one thing that I see here is the fact that they are still kind of learning to let go of their fears. They're learning to let go of the fact that their self-esteem has taken a hit in the past and they are now applying this to your connection. They're now applying this to you and your relationship, which sadly you cannot control group number one. All you can do is try and make them feel comfortable. All you can do is try and show them that you're just also only human and that there's no reason for them to feel intimidated or like you would leave them for somebody better. But at the end of the day, they are still learning. And whether they're able to really go through this door where they are free, where they're liberated of this self-limiting belief system that they have in place within themselves right now, that is something that you cannot pull along quicker. That is something that they need to work on. And it depends on how deep rooted these insecurities are that they have in love. Obviously the deeper rooted that these insecurities are, the longer it may take. And it may take so long that the connection between you and this person does not have time to establish because you don't have time for this. You don't have time to wait around to be intimidating or to be you know the kind of person that makes them feel insecure that turns the situation into a toxic one all because you're being yourself and they cannot handle it or they constantly feel worried or overly jealous about the fact that you might go or like you might find somebody better they really need to work on their self-esteem group number one then we have the six of wands as well as the queen of swords so one thing that i see here in the six of wands as well as the queen of swords is the fact that they see you as somebody who is very fun witty and intelligent and that is something that they really like in the queen of swords i see that they find you to be somebody who is eloquent they find you to be somebody who has a way with words that is unmatched by others so you're most likely a lot smarter than other people your age or sort of like in your area if you will and in the six of wands i see that that does not make you unapproachable it just makes you even more interesting the six of wands shows that you're somebody who is always up for a good time you're always up to have fun and that is something that they're really into that is something that they really love about you but yeah, just the fact that they're kind of intimidated, kind of dealing with their own thing is really what is stopping this situation. So they are into you, they do like you, they do find you interesting and fascinating, but 
there is some sort of blockage here that is stopping them from properly expressing it at this point in time. In the Knight of Wands, one thing that I see here is that they are most likely a little less mature than you, and the Knight is very much a figure that likes to take action, that likes to get things done, group number one. So I want you to know in the Knight of Wands that that is most likely more your position rather than theirs that they are most likely kind of like afraid of what they will be met with so if you have the courage if you have sort of like the want and need to find out where this connection might go then don't be afraid to make the first step group number one don't be afraid to be the one who goes out there and tries to make things happen tries to establish a connection but don't try too hard because then again you're going to be be enabling their fears and enabling their insecurities which we obviously don't want then in the six of swords i see that you know you have to remain honest you have to make sure that you're very balanced in your approach so if you do want to make the first move group number one allow them to know that this is not something that you necessarily wanted to do allow them to know that this is not something that you plan on continuing to do and just be very honest and tell them like that you're only human as well that they don't need to feel any way any sort of like type of intimidation and that you're completely fine with who they are. You don't need them to change. You don't need them to be somebody else. You don't need them to prove anything. All you need from them is for them to be a good person, for them to be kind, for them to just appreciate you but not feel intimidated or like you will leave them for somebody else. Tell them straight up like, hey, if I didn't wanna be talking to you, if I didn't wanna be here, then I wouldn't be here. So. Either you can get over whatever is going on with you internally and we can move on together or then this is something that I guess you still need to sort out and you know, it might just not be the connection for me. So group number one, this is the reading that I received for you. As I said, I want to be completely honest with you. If you appreciate that, leave a little thumbs up emoji down below. Of course, also to let me know that you made it all the way to the end of your reading. And wherever you are in this world, group number one, I wish you an amazing day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So you chose the pyrite group number two, which is also known as the fool's gold, which is a stone of abundance as well as prosperity, which may be exactly why you felt drawn to it, but let's figure out exactly whether he is into you or not. So first and foremost, we have the two of wands, we have the princess of wands as well as the nine of pentacles. So we have two cards that correspond to the suit of wands. The suit of wands corresponds to fire signs. So I want you to know that that may be the kind of energy that is involved here maybe you have a fire sign that is very prominent within your chart or this person does either way one thing that i see here is that they really like that you're somebody who is out there they really like that you're somebody who seems confident to them so as i said you seem confident to them you may not feel necessarily very confident but one thing that i see here in the nine of pentacles is the fact that they're really into you and your career the way you carry yourself and the way you take care of yourself so if you're somebody who likes to take care of themselves or to whom their career is very important i see that that is something that inspires them but they're a little bit in limbo that is one thing that i see in the two of wands okay there is a little bit of polar opposites that are working here in your connection with this person where i see for one in the princess of wands they feel like maybe things are too soon, maybe things are moving too quickly, maybe things are moving in a direction that is just, how should I say, a bit scary to them just because of the pace, but at the same time, they're also kind of into it. They're also kind of into you, and they do really appreciate, as I said, how you carry yourself, how you take care of yourself. So that is something that they may be struggling with, just this feeling where on one hand, they are into you, and then on the other hand, they feel like they don't want things to move too quickly, also most likely because they are kind of afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of what will happen, say, if you're in a committed relationship, how things will feel like, how things will be, and they worry for their single life, for their freedom, for what they're doing right now. So then we have abundance, 
We have choose a new direction as well as remain positive. So one thing that I see here is the fact that them being into you is maybe not enough, okay? I see here that there is an abundance of different choices for you, group number two. I see that there's most likely more than one person that is interested in you, but you're kind of focused on this person in particular that you have in mind when watching this video. But one thing that I see here is that your guides feel as though it may be more beneficial for you to choose a new direction, as in a new person, a new connection, because remaining positive will lead you to actually going to that point where you have abundance and love. I feel as though this person that you're inquiring about might be into you, but the fact that they have this doubt is always going to prevail, is always going to reflect itself in how they behave. So the fact that they're maybe a bit too afraid or immature to let go of their freedom, to let go of, say, single life, to let go of being mysterious or not telling you quite how they feel, of being the person where you're wondering like, hmm, are they into me? I see that it is hard for them to let go of that, which shows that they may still kind of be struggling a little bit with their maturity, which is not necessarily the best connection for you to have at this point in your life. As I can see in your reading group number two, the fact that, as I said, your guides feel as though there's somebody out there who might be more beneficial for you to have a connection with, whether this person is into you or not. So. Either way, remain positive, group number two. That is one of the main aspects that I see that you have to focus on because when you remain positive, you can conquer anything, you can get through anything, but when you're in a down, group number two, you're like in a down, you're below zero. So it seems as though maybe you're battling with something mentally. It could even be a thing such as depression where when you're in a good state, you're doing really amazing, but when things aren't good, you really fall deep so remain positive especially if you're battling with depression bipolar disorder just anything that makes you overly emotional you know maybe it's even just that time of the month keep yourself in a positive space group number two because you're the only one who can do that for you then we have wolverine we have secrets we have the hair as well as the red fox Okay, so group number two, one thing that I see here in the hair is the fact that this person goes through so many cycles in their life, okay? This person, on the one hand, like they're into you, on the one hand, they feel like they could settle down tomorrow, have children, get married, be in that, you know, traditional kind of relationship. But then at the same time, they kind of feel as though they're not sure. They kind of feel as though they want to do something completely different. In the Red Fox, one thing that I see is that this person is trying to be strategic. This person is trying to get as much as they can with giving as little as possible, group number two. So they're trying to be physical. They're trying to get all the benefits of, say, being in a committed connection, but without actually the commitment. And a lot of people try and do that. So we're not even going to judge. I'm just trying to point out to you the fact that they have the audacity to do that. You know, they're not afraid to do that. So don't underestimate this person. If this is somebody that you want to establish a connection with, know that they think on their feet and know that if something benefits them, they're not afraid to go for it, not because they want to harm you, but because they're just that kind of person that oftentimes looks out for themselves first or tries to do things in a way how they don't have to commit too much or say pay too much upfront. They try to keep their life intact the way they want it to be, even if that means that you're not quite 100% satisfied with it. As I can see here in the links that there are a lot of parts of themselves that is like hard for them to open up to other people. They want to remain very private. They don't want you to know everything about them. And yes, while they may want to establish a more solidified connection here, at the same time, they're a little bit unwilling to let go of absolutely any little bit of their freedom and they most likely want things to kind of remain the same. So it is completely up to you, group number two, what you want to do. I told you very honestly what your guides are pointing you towards, what your guides want you to look out for, that there are most likely also other connections here within your reading. So if you made it all the way to this point of the reading and you're excited for the fact that 
this is not the only connection. And for the point that you might actually want to consider somebody else, another connection, leave a little champagne glass emoji down below just to let me know that you made it to this point and that you're excited for the future regardless. And group number two, I truly hope that you enjoyed this honest reading. I truly hope that it gave you inspiration as well as motivation. And I will see you in one of my upcoming videos. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose the amber group number three, which is not actually a mineral, but it is a piece of fossilized tree resin. But I wanna move straight into your reading to figure out exactly whether he is into you. So let's see what we have here for you. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the King of Swords, as well as the Ace of Swords. So we have two cards that correspond to the Suit of Swords, which corresponds to air signs. So air signs are very smart, very intelligent, and sometimes a little too blunt when it comes to their feelings. So one thing that I see here in the King of Swords is the fact that that is the kind of energy that they exude. So I want you to know that if he is into you, he will let you know. If she wants to be with you, you will know. But if they are unsure, they are of course going to keep that to themselves. And one thing that I see here in the Seven of Cups is that they feel as though they have a lot of different options, okay? Right now, there may be more people that are showing interest in this person that you're inquiring about. And one thing that I see here in the Ace of Swords is that they're kind of like testing the waters a little bit. So while they might be into you, while they might find you attractive and to be somebody that they would want to be with, I also see that they're thinking like, hmm, I better not settle too quickly. I better not show that I'm into this person too quickly because what if something better comes along? What if somebody else who is a bit easier and more low maintenance comes along? So that is what I see here within your reading group number three and I'm going to be 100% honest. So if you appreciate a honest reading and this is a group that you chose, leave a little rose emoji down below. So I want you to know here that this is something that you need to be careful with. This is the kind of person where if they're into you and there are other people around who may be a romantic possibility, they might have you sort of like on the waiting bench, if you will, in the waiting room, in the waiting area, just to feel everything out. But group number three, don't allow yourself to kind of be like the second choice, or even if you are the first choice, don't allow yourself to have to wait around to find out. They're fully 100% capable of telling you whether they are into you or not. They might right now just not want to bring it up. And then we have the two of pentacles that just basically want it to be in your reading. So in the ace of swords, as well as the two of pentacles, one thing that I see here is that there is a potential for a connection to establish itself between you and this person, but I see that they are very torn. They're very torn whether they should make or take this next step or whether they should remain where they are right now with the connection how it is because commitment is something that most likely scares them it is something that most likely makes them feel like they're going to be less of a king of swords like they're going to lose a lot of their power so if they are older if they are more mature if they work in an industry where people look up to them and ask for their opinion very often they're kind of worried that they're not going to have that same energy with you because you're somebody who who is not gonna ask anybody for their opinion if you know what you want to do or what you think the next step is, you know? They feel as though you might take them off of their little pedestal, if you will, group number three. Then we have the hanged woman as well as the tower. So group number three, one thing that I see here in the tower is the fact that, once again, there is fear here. There is fear of telling you how they truly feel. And I see here that they really just want to stay complacent. They don't want to move. And the hanged woman, I see that they don't want to give you any more indications about what is going on. They don't want to change anything. They don't want to tell you whether they are into you or not because they're a little chicken group number three. That's just how it is. They're too afraid of things changing too much, which may actually also be a turnoff, which may subconsciously start to make them think, oh, maybe I'm not really into her. Maybe I don't really want to be with him. And maybe they are actually not the right one for me. So know that mentally there is a lot going on here within this person. And then we have 
don't stop as well as compromise. So one thing that I see here is the fact that they know <laughs> that they will have to compromise should they move forward with you. So they are into you, but they're not into the idea of things changing in their life. And don't stop, I see here that for them right now, they feel as though you may slow their roll. They feel as though letting you know how they truly feel about you may compromise where they are in their life right now. They feel as though maybe you will want to be a lot more serious a lot sooner than they're comfortable with. And they kind of feel like they don't want things to end how they are right now, okay? They would rather just keep things how it is, okay? They would rather just stay complacent as we have in the hanged woman than to get themselves into a situation and that they Will later on regret. So this person really is kind of like a commitment folk. This person is really somebody who is so afraid for themselves and for life to change that they would rather just remain completely complacent with this connection. Then we have the swan as well as the tarantula. So one thing that I see here in the swan is the fact that they find you very attractive, okay? They're into you. They find you to be somebody that physically strikes a nerve that makes them think like, oh, I would like to be with this person. I would like to establish a connection. And that is one thing that I see here in the tarantula, the fact that they want a connection, but they're afraid that the connection will be too much to handle for them. So group number three, they are into you, they are interested in you, but they are really afraid of commitment. They are really afraid of change. They would rather just keep things the way that they are now because it's more comfortable for them right now than to change too much within their romantic life. So group number three, this is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that it cleared up a few questions that you may have had and that it was insightful. Let me know down below what really hit home and I will see you in a one of my upcoming videos. Hello group number four and welcome to your reading. So you chose the diopside group number four and I wanna get straight into your reading to figure out exactly whether he's into you or not. So first and foremost, we have the three of swords, we have the three of wands as well as the queen of pentacles. So one thing that I see here in the three of swords in the middle of your reading is the fact that they are still hurting, okay? They're still kind of like in this situation where they're hurting about an ex, where they're hurting about somebody who caused them a lot Lot of pain and who kind of like caused them to rethink love okay so one thing that I see here is that that is something that they're going through and that may be in the way of your connection furthermore in the three of wands one thing that I see here is that there's still a few more steps to take until you can be crystal clear as to whether he or she is into you or not so they feel like they want to get to know you better they feel like the initial interest is here okay that is one thing that I see in the queen of pentacles the fact that you are mysterious to them you seem like somebody who is a good idea to be around but they feel like they need more insight okay and this all stems from the three of swords the fact that they were hurt in the past the fact that they have been through a lot emotionally where they feel as though it is very hard to trust somebody new and it is hard for them to say that they're into somebody new all just because they felt like they got into a relationship too quickly in the past too hastily and that caused them the heartbreak so they're more careful this time around then we have a don't stop so don't stop literally just like flew out of the pile of cards so group number four know that it is probably very beneficial for you to stick around a little longer with this connection okay so do not stop putting yourself out there. Do not make them feel as though you don't want them to know who you truly are because they need that security. They need for you to be there, okay, with putting yourself out there a little more than they are in order for them just to like know, okay, is this person safe or not? They're trying to figure out whether you are a safe space or not, whether you're somebody who they can trust or not. So don't stop showing them that trustworthy side of yours. Don't stop showing them that they're able to trust you with their feelings. Then we have recovery as well as meditation brings answers. So in recovery, just this just ties in so beautifully with the fact that we spoke about how they're hurt, how they're healing, how they're trying to get over a situation still with an ex, with some other connection, 
that hurt them very deeply and this may even be embarrassing to them okay that is one thing that i see here it may be embarrassing to them that they feel hurt or that they feel as though they've been played because maybe that was never even a real relationship maybe they never even got to that point and the fact that they're sad over what was not a real relationship or just a casual seeing each other they may feel very embarrassed about it they may feel ashamed that they feel so deeply about something Somebody who they maybe weren't even with for a very long amount of time so talking about this is not easy for them and it may take them a very long time to come clean to you about this but they're still dealing with this and while they are interested in you they just need a little bit more information about who you are as a person before they can truly trust then we have the meerkat as well as the goat so one thing that I see here is that it is your responsibility to show that group number four I see here that it's important for you to be that person that they can rely on to be that person that they know is there regardless and for you to also be that person who is okay with just being a bit more open who is okay with sticking around just a little longer to give them a little bit of time so whether they are ready or not that is another question to as to whether they're into you or not but they want to know more about you that is one thing that i see here in the code they want to know more about you as a person and they like having you around you give them a feeling of safety so continue doing that it's your responsibility to make them feel safe to the point where they can open up of course group number four i do not want you to waste too much time just give it a little bit more because they might really surprise you with coming forward and telling you that they actually do really like you but all that they needed was a little bit of time to figure out whether they could truly trust you then we have the chameleon as well as the horse so one thing that I see here in the chameleon is the fact that they are okay with change, okay? I see that for them, freedom is not being single. For them, freedom is trusting. So while they are into thinking about this connection between you and them, while they like the idea of establishing a new connection, right now they're still trapped while trying to figure out whether you are trustworthy and while trying to figure out whether you are compatible. So they're not going to talk very much during this time. They're going to keep a lot to themselves. And in the chameleon, one thing that I see here is the fact that they are ready for this change. They're ready to go from, you know, keeping things to themselves and not telling you whether they're into you or not to telling you exactly how they feel. But as I said here in the horse before, they can embrace this freedom. By the way, leave a little horse emoji down below if you're still watching. Before they can embrace the freedom of really communicating their feelings to you openly and honestly, they need to feel safe and they need to feel like they have gone past a certain barrier or a certain point, a certain checkpoint as to where they know what your intentions are as well. And they feel as though the intentions are compatible. So group number four, with you it's kind of like a special situation so it's not that they're not into you but it's also not that they're crazy about you it's the fact that they're still dealing with past trauma they're still dealing with something that has transpired in a past connection and past relationship so they want to get to a point where they have dealt with that they want to get to a point where they have sort of um really cleansed themselves where they have really healed and recovered and where they can feel as though like they are completely ready for this new connection so whether you want to stick around or not that is up to you but of course this is blocking them from being head over heels crazy into you if you are okay with that and if you feel like it is worth giving them that extra time then that is up to you group number four that is completely up to you to decide but i want you to know that no they are not head over heels crazy into you they like you they may want to consider a connection but they have things that they're dealing with that are just stopping them right now from expressing that sort of emotional like wow i really love you i'm really into you so keep that in mind for your connection group number four so group number four this is a reading that i received for you i truly hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it insightful let me know down below if you like this very honest reading i truly hope that you appreciate the fact that i'm trying to be as transparent as i possibly can and i will see you in one of my upcoming videos 
Hello group number five and welcome to your reading. So you chose the Emerald group number five and I want to get straight into your reading to figure out exactly whether he's into you or not. So first and foremost, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Princess of Swords as well as the Knight of Swords. So one thing that I see here in the Nine of Wands is the fact that he has come to a point or she has come to a point where they want to make a decision as well, okay? So they are asking themselves whether you are into them. They are asking themselves whether you think that they are attractive, whether you think that they are worthy of being in a deeper connection with. One thing that I see here in the Nine of Wands is that this connection is coming to a point between you and this person where you have to make up your mind. Do you want to be together? Do you want to explore this connection or do you want to let it be and let it kind of like fizzle out if you know what I mean, group number five. So in the Princess of Swords as well as the Knight of Swords, one thing that I see is that communication is missing and communication is what would be needed. So they feel as though you could speak more. They feel as though you could be a little bit more proactive because they're most likely in the exact same position as you they're wondering like huh does he or she really like me are they into me do they find me interesting attractive lovable so i hope that you're communicating group number five i hope that you're letting me know exactly how you feel leave a little butterfly emoji down below if you're watching this well obviously you're watching this reading if this is the group that you chose to let me know that you're here so yeah definitely engage in communicating a bit more clearly just in order to show them how you feel to give them a little bit more confidence then we have the ten of pentacles as well as the five of pentacles so i do see here in the five of pentacles the fact that there's a little bit of a struggle i see that they are kind of like a little bit unsure okay and i feel like they're a bit scared of the fact that you have really big dreams and aspirations that is one thing that i see in the ten of pentacles i see that you have come from something really little okay so i don't want to say that oh you've come from nothing blah 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 but what where you have come from group number five the amount of work that you've put in to get yourself to where you are right now at this point in life all of the work that you've put in everything that you have experienced all the hurdles the obstacles that you have overcome that you have been able to work through i see that you're now at a point where you're looking to build something bigger you're looking to create even more out of your life because you're confident because you're driven and because you know that you have the potential within you to create an amazing life okay and one thing that i see here in the five of pentacles is that they're kind of afraid that they will not be able to keep up with that or that they will not be able to match that i see that right now in their life they may be going through a point where they're in the middle of a cycle they're in the middle of something difficult and they may feel like they're not quite prepared to solidify a connection Whereas with you in the Ten of Pentacles, one thing that I see here is that you're at the point where you can start something new, where you can look at new opportunities, be it to change a job, to start your own side hustle, to really build an empire, or to actually change things when it comes to your health, when it comes to your looks. You know, you're unafraid and you're ready for big changes. And they right now, on the other hand, are not. So that is one thing that they're not really into. That is one thing where you kind of need to weigh how important it is to you to be with somebody who feels equal. I mean, I 100% believe that it is important for you to be with somebody who supports you, somebody who really pushes you along and who doesn't feel as though just because you're in an amazing spot, that means that their life is all bad. They're going through a rough patch and it may be hard for them to embrace your amazing patch or what is coming for you that will bring you to a point where you're like, wow, I have really conquered and accomplished a next amazing milestone in my life so i feel as though they're not really into you and the very successful you you know they want you to be successful but not too successful they want you to accomplish things but not more than them if you know what i mean so i definitely feel as though they have things that they're dealing with internally that you can not influence and that may make them feel as though the connection isn't right just because yeah, you've got things going on. Then we have in the near future, as well as no need to worry. So your guides definitely want you to chill out, group number five. Your guides don't want you to worry about this connection in particular, even if they're not really into the thought of being with you just because they're like secretly worried, but they're going to play it off as, oh, like I didn't want to be with you anyways, but you're kind of like, okay, then why did you until I told you that I had my own business or why were you trying to get with me until I showed you that I'm not just going to get physical 
like without commitment. So why were you interested until I had standards? You know what I mean? So I want you to know that it is 100% correct of you to have standards and 100% your right to only want to be with somebody who shows that they are 100% into you, that isn't afraid to be the person who's maybe in the background, to be the person that's maybe not the more successful one. I want you to know that it's very important for you to be with somebody where you don't feel like you're compromising your self-worth because being with somebody who is not all that into you can really hurt your self-esteem subconsciously without you even noticing, if you know what I mean, group number five. Then we have the meerkat, we have the raven, as well as the tiger. So one thing that I see here in the meerkat is the fact that you have the responsibility here to make the right call, okay? So your guides have stepped into your reading group number five to let you know that there is no need to worry. There is nothing where you have to say to yourself, oh my God, like maybe this is my last chance or I don't wanna let them go if they're really into me. I want you to know here that in the near future, somebody is going to enter your life that is into you, that is more compatible with you. So this connection is something that is your responsibility to deal with. And obviously you need to know whether this is something that you're okay with or not. So in the tiger, I see here that it is very important for you to have the will and the courage to sometimes also swim against the stream, okay? Even if a lot of people tell you like, oh, why don't you give it a shot, blah, blah, you need to know that, okay, if they're just not that into me, and if this relationship, situationship is coming to a point where a decision needs to be made, and I have to be the one constantly crawling up their butt, constantly telling them how awesome they are and how much I'm into them, but that's not really something that I want to do, then have the will and the strength to just be like, no, this is not for me. This is definitely not the kind of connection that I want. And then in the Raven, I want you to know group number five, the fact that there is news coming your way that is amazing news romantically. So at the beginning, you may feel a little bit down about this connection. You may feel as though you're a little bit upset that they're not into you in a healthy way. And that is the essence of a group number five they're not into this connection being healthy they're not into you being equal they're not into you maybe even being the center of the relationship the star of the relationship so i want you to know that as soon as you make your decision whether you're okay with this kind of connection or you feel as though hey i actually just want to trust my intuition and follow what my guides have told me in this reading and move on i want you to know that there will be amazing news that come your way so this may either be amazing news while you're establishing more of a connection with this person or amazing news after you have let them go so know that life is not going to end because of this connection not working out know that life is definitely going to go on no matter what you choose to go with group number five so be confident in your decision and be confident in your gut feeling this is really a connection where you have to listen to your intuition and also listen to your inner calling if you feel as though you know that this person is maybe not as sincere or does not want a very healthy connection necessarily, then know that it's not for you because you deserve a healthy connection. You deserve a healthy relationship where the liking is mutual, where they like you just as much as you like them, where you are just as much into them as they are into you and you know, vice versa, so on and so forth. So group number five, this is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that you appreciated my honesty I truly hope that you appreciate this reading and the approach to being transparent within this reading. And wherever you are in this world, group number five, I hope that you have an amazing day or night, and I will see you in one of my upcoming videos.